Welcome to all to today lectures on blood transfusion and Coombs test, direct and indirect Coombs test. Donor and recipient selection. First of all, we have to select the donor as well as recipient. This one blood group, this another blood group. This is not compatible. This and this are same blood group. These are the compatible. Donor and recipient selection. Donor should not be harmed in any way. Recipient should equally be safe. Donor blood should be compatible with recipient blood. Preservation of blood, suitable anticoagulant is stored at 4 degree centigrade. Criteria for donor selection. No drug like antibiotics, steroids, no recent vaccination, no history of viral hepatitis or other communicable diseases, no history of tattooing, no history of allergy, no history of blood transfusion in last six months. Main criteria. Hemoglobin should not be less than 12.5 gram per dl. Age should be 18 to 65 years. Weight at least 50 kg. History of malaria should be deferred. Do not donate more than four times in a year. Blood donor screening, identification of the donor, history of the donor, physical examination, laboratory test, compatibility test. Identification, name, address and other pertinent information. No donor should be donated twice in three months periods. Donor should be between age of 18 to 65 years. History, recent illness, operations. Melana, jaundice, syphilis, TB, diabetes mellitus, heart disease, etc. Physical examination, temperature, blood pressure, pulse, chest auscultation, pregnancy, venereal diseases. Laboratory test, hemoglobin concentration, parasites, icteric index, serological test for AIDS, HBSAG, VDRL. Blood group and RH typing, antibody screening, compatibility test, cross matching, saline cross matching, and method of cross matching of universal donor. The donor recipient cross matching, saline cross matching, and method of cross matching of universal donor. These saline cross matching are of four types the open slide method, saline tube method, albumin tube method. Coombs cross massing. What are the factors leading to false result? Autoagglutination, cold antibody, bacterial contamination, drying. These are the four factors which give false positive results. Choice of material for transfusion. Shock due to hemorrhage or decreased blood volume. Transfusion done by whole blood. Shock due to trauma, burn, infection, transmission is done by plasma, plasma substitutes. Chronic anemia, whole blood or resuspended dead cells, thrombocytopenia, platelet transfusion with fresh platelet. Prothrombin factor deficiency not corrected by vitamin B12, fresh whole blood transfusion is needed. Hemophilia, Factor 8, factor 9, concentrate. Whole blood or plasma within 6 hours of collection. Leukopenia, whole blood, leukocyte, concentrate. Types of blood and blood substitute for transfusion. Blood, whole blood, this may be stored blood, may be fresh blood. Blood product, plasma, plasma substitute, PCB. Blood plasma, ACD plasma aspirate may be stored for months at 4 to 6 degree centigrade and is safe for transfusion. What are the blood components losses in stored blood? 
these are the platelet WBC factor 8. What are the complications of blood transfusion? Early complication, late complications. Early complication, hemolytic reaction, reaction due to infected blood, allergic reaction to white cells, platelets and proteins, pyrogenic reaction. Pyrogen may come from bottle, tube, blood itself. Bacterial contamination of the blood. Late complication, disease transmission, hepatitis, syphilis, malaria, AIDS, cytomegalovirus. Transfusional iron overload, immune sensitization. These are the late complication. Disease transmission, transfusional iron overload and immune sensitization. What are the other complications of blood transfusion? Circulating overload, air embolism, thrombophilobitis, hyperkalemia, citrate toxicity, clotting abnormalities after massive transfusion. Coom test. Objective of Coom test to detect red blood cells sensitized with IgG allo antibodies, IgG autoantibodies, complement components, history of Coom test how Coom test drive. The Coom test was first described in 1945 by Cambridge immunologist Robin Coombs, Arthur Mourant and Rob Race. Historically, it was done in test tube, but today it is commonly done by using microarray and gel technology. How Coom serum is repaired. Coom serum, also called anti human globulin, is made by immunizing rabbits with human serum containing gamma globulin. Clear? Human serum containing gamma globulin. The rabbit responds by making anti human globulin, that is, antibody against human gamma globulin and complement that is then purified before use. Clear? Ita hotse kum reason ki bhabe tori kore se. Anti-human immunoglobulin. Kotha ta bushti kore so. Anti-human immunoglobulin. Mane human er vitor er jes immunoglobulin nashe tar eganeste arat antibody tori korbe. A human immunoglobulin ta foreign ishebe kas korbe rabbit er vitor er. When the serum is given to the rabbit, then the immunoglobulin is given to the antibody. So, it is called anti-human immunoglobulin. This anti-human immunoglobulin is given to the antibody. This is commercially used to be preserved. This is Coom reagent, anti-human immunoglobulin. Is it clear? This is the immunoglobulin, IgG antibody. Containing in human serum, injected to the rabbits, then rabbit produces anti-IG antibody in their serum. This serum is collected and preserved as Coombs serum. Coombs reagent is used in both direct Coombs test and indirect Coombs test. It is made by injecting human globulin into animals, which produce polyclonal antibodies specific for human immunoglobulins and human complement system components. More specific Coom reagents or monoclonal antibodies can be made and be used. This is polyclonal, this is monoclonal, more specific. Clear? Enhanced media. Kakhon use kori? Jakhon IgG to dit thakke sheta bind kore na. Takhon amare enhanced media use kori. Both IgM and IgG antibodies bind strongly with their antigens. IgG antibodies are most reactive at 37 degree centigrade. IgM antibodies are easily detected in saline at room temperature as IgM antibodies are able to breeze between RBCs 
efficiently owing to their larger size, creating what is seen as agglutination. IgG antibodies are smaller and require assistance to breathe well enough to form a visual agglutination reaction. IgG antibodies are smaller and require assistance to breathe well enough to form a visual agglutination reaction. IgM ta pentamer past act shathe thakhe. Ejo no act RBC or act RBC shathe bind korate pare. Into IgG to single thakhe small. এটা আর বি সি গুলোকে বাইন্ড করাতে পারে না হোয়াট আর দ্য ইনহান্সমেন্ট মিডিয়া অর পটেন্সিয়েটরস রিয়েজেন্টস ইউজ টু ইনহান্স দ্য আইজিজি ডিটেকশন আর রিফার টু অ্যাজ পটেন্সিয়েটর আর বি সিজ হ্যাভ এ নেট নেগেটিভ চার্জ কল যেটা পটেন্সিয়াল হুইজ কজেস দেম টু হ্যাভ এ নিউট্রাল রিপারশন ফর ওয়ান অ্যান্ড আদার পটেন্সিয়েটর ইউসেস দিস যেটা পটেন্সিয়াল অফ আর বি সিজ মেম্বরেন্স হোয়াট আর দ্য common potentiators include albumin proteolytic enzyme low ionic strength solutions polyethylene glycol these are the potentiator what are the types of cum test cum test are of two types direct cum test indirect cum test direct cum test or direct anti human globulin test dat direct anti human globulin test indirect cum test also known as indirect anti globulin test or iat a blood sample is taken and the rbcs are washed and then incubated with anti human globulin also known as cum reagent if this produces agglutination of rbc the direct womb test is positive a visual indication that antibodies are bound to the surface of the red blood cells this is the picture blood collected from patient with immune mediated hemolytic anemia antibodies are shown attached to the antigen on the red cell surface this is the red cells antibody attached to it red cell surface this is the cum reagent these rbc suspensions are incubated with cum reagent the patient washed rbc are incubated with anti human antibodies or cum reagent rbc agglutinate this is the separate separate rbc this is agglutinated rbc rbc agglutinate anti human antibodies form links between the rbc by binding to the human antibodies on red cell surface these are the anti human immunoglobulin immunoglobulin against these immunoglobulin that is why it is called anti human immunoglobulin patient washed rbc incubated with cum reagent if agglutinated occur then it is direct cum test positive if agglutination do not occur negative that means patient rbc surface do not contain any antibody jodi negative hoy if it is negative then we think that surface of the patient rbc do not attach to it any antibody what are the use of direct cum test why you use direct cum test autoimmune hemolytic anemia drug induced hemolytic anemia hemolytic disease of the newborn autoimmune hemolytic transfusion reaction indirect womb test the indirect womb test is used in prenatal testing of pregnant women testing blood prior to a blood transfusion it detects antibodies against rbcs that are present unbound in patient serum in this case serum is extracted from the patient blood and the serum is incubated with rbcs of known antigenicity rbcs are washed and then incubated with cum's reagent if this produces agglutination of rbcs the indirect cum test is positive a visual indication that antibodies are present in 
पेशेंट सिरम कि इनडाइर क्रूम टेस्टे पेशेंटर सिराम नहीं सराम भरे एंटीबडी आई ये परीक्षा करब क्लियर तेल परीक्षा करते कि जो एंटीबडीगुलो आंटीबडिर एगेंस्टे जो एंटीजें आर्था नन एंटीजेंस इटी जानते हैं हाँ से ही ब्लाडर ग्रुप थे ब्लाड निब ये ब्लाडा के वाश करब वाश कर पैसेंटर सराम इनकुबेट करब जदि पैसेंटर सराम एंटीबडी थे तेल जेहेतु नन एंटीजेंस इटी ब्लाड हमें नहीं सराम एंटीबडीगुलो जी ब्लाडा नहीं इनकुबेट कर सार्फेस ये अटास एरपर ये एगेन वाश करी वाश कर कि करम रिएजेंटे इनकुबेट कर एग्लोटिन है तेल बोझा जा पैसेंटर सराम इमोनोगोबिल पैसेंटर सराम इमोनोगोलोबिल जेटा जार साथे रियक्शन हो कूम रिएजेंटर एंटी ह्यूमान इमोनोगोलोबिल ठीक है एरपर कि हलो एरपर एग्लोटेशन है क्यों एग्लोटेशन है कारण वो छो स्म आईजिज स्म एंटीबडी एन जेहेतु दोटो एंटीबडी एक साथ मिसे गल मिसे जाए कि बड़ो गलो बड़ो गए कि तक यहाँ एकटार साथ एक बैंड करते ठीक है कारण ये एफ सी रिसिप्टर साथ बैंड कर दे तैन एंटीबडीगुल बैंड कर एफ सी रिसिप्टर तेल और सामने दोटो हाथ खोला थकल और तेल एक हाथ दिए एक हाथ बेची धरने और एक हाथ दिए एक हाथ बेची धरने तेल ये परस्पर वा एक साथ बैंडिंग बैंडिंग हो एग्लोटेशन हो क्रिस्टाल क्लियर दिस इज इनडाइरेक्ट कूम टेस्ट और इनडाइरेक्ट इमोनोग्लोबल इन टेस्ट पैसेंट सराम इज अबटेंट कन्टेनिंग एंटीबडिज दिस इज द पैसेंट सराम सराम कन्टेंट एंटीबडिज आई जी जी दिस इज द डोनार ब्लाड डोनार ब्लाड सैम्पल इज एडेड टू दिब उथ पैसेंट सराम इनकुबेटेड एंड दें सपेंशन रेड सेल सपेंशन वज मेड दें रेसिपियंट आई जी जी दैट टार्गेट द डोनार्स रेड ब्लाड सेल्स फ्रम एंटीबडी एंटीजें कमप्लेक्स दिस इज पैसेंट सराम दिस इज डोनार ब्लाड इनकुबेटेड दें वाश दिस डोनार ब्लाड दिस इज द इनकिबेटेड डोनार ब्लाड इफ पैसेंट सराम कन्टेंट दिस इमोनोग्लोबल दिस इमोनोग्लोबल एटास टू उथ डोनार एंटीजें प्रेजेंट ऑन देर रेड सेल सार्फेस दिज आर द एंटीजें प्रेजेंट इन ऑन द रेड सेल सार्फेस अफ डोनार दिस इज द एंटीबडी प्रेजेंट इन दिराम अफ द पैसेंट दिस एंटीबडी बैंड उथ दिस एंटीजें दिस इज द एफ सी पोर्सन दिस इज दैप पोर्सन क्लियर दिस इज एफ सी पोर्सन और दिस इज फैप पोर्सन फैप पोर्सन फिक्स उथ सार्फेस इन ऑन सैड एनदार सैड फिक्स उथ एंटी ह्यूमान इम्यूनोग्लोबल इन दिस एग्लोटेशन अकार्स वेन उड एंड इनकुबेट दें दिस क्लाम्पिंग अकार क्लियर दिस इज देशेंट सराम सराम कन्टेंट इम्यूनोग्लोबल इन दिस इज दें वाश डोनार ब्लाड इनकुबेटेड उथ Recipient serum, that is passion. Recipient serum. After incubation, again washed this RBC and made RBC suspension. This RBC suspension is incubated with comb reagent. If agglutination occurs, this is indirect comb test positive. If do not occur. then indirect comb test negative again uses of comb test direct comb test indirect comb test so how are we use direct comb test autoimmune hemolytic anemia drug induced hemolytic anemia hemolytic disease of the newborn autoimmune hemolytic transfusion reaction 
prenatal antibody assessment of IgG antibody that cross the placenta in a pregnant woman. Testing blood prior to a blood transfusion, retransfusion. Interpretation of the Coombe test, direct Coombe test, indirect Coombe test. There are incomplete antibodies attached to the erythrocytes. This is positive. There are no incomplete antibodies attached to the erythrocyte. This is negative. Indirect, there are incomplete antibodies present in the patient's serum. This is positive. Negative, there are no incomplete antibodies present in the patient's serum. Thank you all.